Well, it's going to be Shane Bieber on the mound. He's had a, a terrific year, 14 and 7, a 317 earned run average. He's 2 and 0 against the Twins this year. Shane Bieber goes to work against Luis Arise. And a one hop smash back in and nicely by Jason Kipnis. And he'll throw him out one away. Really nice play by Kipnis. Boy, I'll tell you, that's why they say you better be ready right from the first pitch. Well, here's the second pitch. It's a one hopper. He makes a nice backhanded grab and makes a throw to first base. And very good play for out number one. And up comes Big Miguel Sano. Drives one to right field. Puig won't get that. He will cut it off, however, and Sano's going to hold. He's uh oh, he's in he trouble. In, he is in trouble now. He's in no man's land. Yeah, the big man couldn't put on the brakes. Santana tagged him on the backside. Two down. Williams has to deal with runners in the corners and two down. Got him to reach for it. Pops it up weakly to shallow right. Kipnis gives way to Puig. Inning over. No runs, three hits, two left. Dobnak now will make his second start against the Indians. He did back on September 8th. His first outing he made was out of the bullpen. He pitched four innings. Frankie Lindor leads it off. Ground ball fair down the line. Lindor's on his way to second. And wow, that was a weird play. Rosario picked it up, and just as he picked it up, Lindor stopped. And then was up for Rosario dropped it. Frankie took off again. And so I believe that'll be a single and an error on Rosario. Runners at the corners with nobody out. And Carlos Santana, the batter. And a ground ball right at the second baseman. He'll get one there. Back to first. Not in time. Santana beats it out. A run scores. Lindor gets on the board. The Indians are up one to nothing. And Santana will pick up RBI number 89 on the year. Two on, only one out, and Jason Kipnis coming to the point. Weekly tap towards third. Sano will go to second. There's one on the first. The bounce gets away. And coming around third, Santana. He will score, and the Indians get another run on the air. Here's Miguel Sano, single his first time up. A drive to left field. Sano lifts one to left and gone. A home run. Sano's 29th. The Twins are on the board. It's 2-1. to one. 284 home runs on the year. This one counting for just one run. Miguel Sano last time up popped a career best 29th home run of the season. Let's see if they can turn two here. Kipnis to Lindor. There's one back to first. It's in time and inning ending. Double play. And the Indians lead it two to one. Top of the order for Cleveland. Francisco Lindor leading off. That's a fair ball. Great stop at first by Crone. C.J. Crone diving across the line to take an extra base hit away from Lindor. Well, we've talked about C.J.'s sore thumb, but it's not affecting his defense. Another fabulous play, and then a flip over to uh, Dobnik, who was quick enough to get off the mound and cover this. And with one down here is Eddie Rosario. Deep to right field, and we are tied. And there's number 30. Rosario cranks number 30, and it's two apiece. That's twice in two days that Eddie has hit balls that immediately you know are gone. Just a solo home run, but it ties the game at two. Ostadio's at first. Here's Wade Jr. Maybe time for his first major league home run. A drive to right center field and deep. Way back, Lamont Wade Jr. <laughs> There's your two run homer. A two run blast, and the Twins take a 4 2 lead. His first big league home run, his first big league extra base hit. And the Twins have taken the lead four to two. Reyes at third, Allen at first, one out, four to three, Minnesota. Roberto Perez will bat. High drive, deep center field. Wade is back. He's out of room. It's out of here. The Indians take the lead. They've been waiting for that spark, and Roberto Perez just lit the fuse. A three-run homer makes it a four-run sixth for the Indians. Two down. Here's Eddie. Twins down by two, and the first pitch a swing and a fly ball into right center and deep. Puig going back, turning, watching. That's gone. Rosario with a second homer today, and now a three-hit afternoon, number 31. And the Twins are down by only one. It's a 6-5 game. So Puig on Mercado safe at second, and Mike Freeman's pinch hitting for Jason Kipnis. And a ground ball through the hole on the left side of the infield, around third. Mercado will score at 7-5 Cleveland. You couldn't have placed it any better. Mike Freeman snaps out of his funk. The Twins are down to the final out. Now it's up to Eddie as Oliver Perez is on to pitch for the Indians. 
Popped him up. There it is. This could do it. Roberto is there and makes the catch. A game they had to have, and the Indians hold on and win it seven to five.